Hey guys, welcome back to another RestoreMySneakers.com video. In this episode, I'll be talking about the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro in the black and gym green colorway. Now, this particular colorway of the Foam Posit Pro features an iridescent foam posit upper, which many have referenced to as a combination of three different past foam posit colorways. The copper, pine green, and eggplant. Another notable shoe that came out earlier this year that features an iridescent color changing upper is the Nike Zoom Kobe 7 aka the invisibility cloak. It goes from a purple to a green colorway depending on how the light shines on the shoe. Now the gym green accents on the shoe can be found on the tongue in the letters air on the back with the swoosh, the lettering for foam posit, as well as the swoosh on the sole. Now the sole is a clear sole with black tr uh, herringbone traction pods. On the inside, the insole features a purple lining with black branding and lettering. So you have Nike swoosh and air in black. Now many of you know, NikeStore.com used to release their shoes the night before, which in my case, which is Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. and changed it to 5 a.m. Saturday morning. And ever since they changed releases on Saturday morning, I've been unlucky in ever getting a pair of shoes. So I did wake up early this morning trying to get these on NikeStore.com. Unfortunately, they went out pretty quick. Um, you know, my size 10 and a half disappeared. I wasn't able to add it to cart and I kept checking on it, you know, and I figured maybe I should go check the mall. But I was like, last time that happened, you had people camping out for the Electro Limes and the Metallic Reds. And, you know, 10 and a half usually goes by fairly quick. Um, so, you know, by luck, my brother and I went to the mall around 11 a.m. and Chic shoes happened to have my size still in a ten and a half, and I'm glad that they still had them, and I was actually able to get them. So last year I had a chance to purchase the Royals. As you can see, the soles are still doing okay, as well as the upper, and I've worn these over ten times in the past year. So I'm going to show you guys how I kept my foam posits looking clean and fresh. Now what I use to clean the soles is a brush, liquid soap, cold water, and a dry towel. Now if you have any stubborn stains on the soles after cleaning with soap and water, that's when I use Mr. Clean Magic Eraser or scotch Bright Easy Eraser. Either one works really well. And what I normally do is I get the sponge. You can either use scissors to cut it or you can just tear it with your hands. That way you end up saving more of the Easy Eraser or Mr. Ma uh, with the Magic Clean Eraser. For the new buck I stay and laces, I use a kiwi horsehair brush and that helps get rid of any dust or lint on the upper. And in regards to the foam posit upper, all I do is dampen one end of a towel, wipe the foam posit, and then get the dry end of a towel and then dry it clean. Now if you have scuffs on the material, going to have to repaint it but unfortunately I don't have the info and details on how to do so. Now in regards to storage, I do put the shoes back in the original box. You want to make sure that the shoes are completely dry before putting them away. The paper that I have inside, I don't use it to cover the shoes again, I just fold it flat on the bottom and store the shoes inside. I don't do anything fancy such as using saran wrap or any plastic bags or anything of that sort. 
This box with the shoes goes back into the closet. And the key thing with the closet is you want to make sure that the temperature does stay at a relatively cool temperature. And that should help prevent any excessive yellowing on the clear soles or any of that sort. So around 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit is a pretty good temperature range for storing your shoes in a closet. If it gets any hot, you may want to take the shoes out of that closet and use an electric fan and blow the, blow the air into the closet to help maintain, the, help maintain and lower the temperatures inside the closet. We personally don't run our air conditioning until like the evening. So during the day, if it's really hot, I'll usually prop an electric fan next to the closet just to get air circulating in there and to help maintain the temperature. That way the shoes, it's not too humid inside the closet and cause yellowing, premature yellowing on the soles or cause any midsole separation or any deterioration on any polyurethane midsoles. So that wraps it up for the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro as well as Foam Posit maintenance tips that I personally use. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to keep your sneakers looking clean and fresh. See ya.